Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Well, we are learning that a Novi man detained in Russia on espionage charges is expected to meet with UK embassy officials. Now, the meeting's set for tomorrow, and that's according to Paul Whelan's brother. It'll mark the first time the Russian government will have allowed Whelan to talk to anybody other than representatives from Russia. Whelan has now been jailed in Russia for 32 days. More churches in Detroit are stepping up to provide overnight relief from the freezing temps. Pope Francis Center on St. Antoine will shelter 46 people later tonight. St. Augustine and St. Monica Catholic Church on Seminole will also take in 47 people tonight. Christ Love Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church at the corner of Grand River and Myers is also adding overnight shelter from the bitter cold tonight and tomorrow night. Doors will open from 5 p.m. to 7 a.m. All right, welcome back. We have wind chill warnings all the way uh, through the day today. It's going to be in effect until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Right now down to minus 6 in Detroit. And so 6 below. The record is uh, 4 below today. So we have already are looking at record cold temperatures this morning. St. Clair Shores is 3 below, 2 below in Troy. But wind chills around 30 below zero right now. Winds have been gusting around 25 miles per hour, so it is going to be windy. Very cold day today. We have uh, wind chills that are minus 18 in Sterling Heights, Mount Clemens, 23 below zero now. Winter weather advisories for Genesee County and Livingston County and storm warnings to the west. Light snow, but blowing snow will still be a big issue from snow that's already on the ground across northern Oakland County through the day today. High temperatures minus four. This afternoon, one of the coldest day on record uh, ever in Detroit. Wind chills minus 30 to minus 40 through the day. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.